to prince prince mj and welcome back to another video today i'm gonna be telling you guys a wonderful story of me hopping into gnu linux once again and beating minecraft championship i don't even know what it is i think it's minecraft championship event i'm not sure but it's like an event where you get like a cape so i beat it in minecraft bedrock on linux guys it's amazing using like the unofficial unix unix launcher made by like mr arm christopher hx so i it's been it's been an awesome experience guys and i am not running win i am not running linux right now though i am not running linux i'm running windows right now and i'm like on the fence of running linux full time but like when when i was like i think i i wasn't really on a hiatus to be honest on this channel recently so yeah but like i actually did hop to linux a couple days ago i don't know when but like yeah i think it was like last week ago i just hopped into it uh for two days for two days bro just to play them or i think just one day to be honest just one day just to play the mcc event guys on linux it's amazing it's so cool because it's so good you can have your skin now skins work properly multiplayer works properly which is amazing servers so uh, let me know your experience by the way if you guys are like a GNU Linux or like a, a Linux user that's playing Minecraft Bedrock on Linux make sure you guys go comment it down below in the in the comment section if you guys have any experience of your own because I'm really excited to see and form that community around this type of thing because it's 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 really cool it's empowering for people that like have low end PCs and want to play like uh, Minecraft Bedrock on Linux. To be honest, because like back then when my PC was like so bad, they had like an Intel Pentium Pro. That's crazy, bro. Who has an Intel Intel Pentium in 2020 or 2021, 2022, man? <laughs> to be honest, that's when I started my Linux journey. By the way, to 2022, 2021, I had like a Pentium processor, bro. Now I'm upgraded, but it's still the same year. It's like an i7-3770 so like I I'm on the verge right now to picking like an, an uh, Ryzen because I am getting some like uh, some stuff to uh, fund that so I'm really amazing I'm I'm really amazing I don't know why I'm saying I'm amazing bro I'm not praising myself because you know I don't want to do that bro I think that's not that's against the word of God but anyway you know sometimes I I, I don't know what what I'm saying sometimes but like anyway <laughs> bro Galil Linux on Linux, uh, GNU Linux on my uh, Minecraft Bedrock, GNU Linux almost said the the reverse way. It's it's getting more better and better, guys. It's just something I really want to talk about. It's I think a new passion of mine, but like I'm just like not really showing it to you guys because like I'm I'm currently focusing on other stuff right now, and yeah, I might mess around with virtual machines in the future because like, virtual machines they they do really serve a good function. Especially when like uh, when working with Windows on Linux, it's 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 something that I do need to do because I do tutorial videos in Minecraft. So I got a I I don't have an an Apple device yet. I don't have an iPhone yet. Well, I have an iPhone six, bro. I don't I don't even know if this is something to to mess around with, bro. I don't I don't know if I can I can even play Minecraft on that, man. I don't even I think I can, but old older versions. I think I can play older versions, but. Maybe newer versions can still work on this iPhone. I'm I'm not sure if it if it still works on this iPhone, because iPhones are really freaking optimized, man. Okay, it's just, it's cool, it's cool, but like you know, locked down. You know, some people don't like that aspect. But me, I fancy getting an iPhone in the future. But like, dude, like, okay. The reason why I even started like uh playing Minecraft Bedrock on Linux again is because of the recent like uh windows issues and stuff like that you know windows 11 and i i've been into like i've been into like getting into i've been getting into like uh, what do you call it owning your your media owning your stuff uh and i think when you i think the purpose of like purpose of me switching to linux is having to like own my own stuff because if you if if, if you think about it Linux is free and open source. That means if you really want to, you can create your own version of Linux. You can create your own distro distribution of Linux. But I am, but I am not like that. Okay, I, I, I yet. Okay, maybe I might do that in the future. But I ain't that. I ain't that into it right now. You know, because I have other other stuff that I need to do. But like that's the power of it. You know, and like in the future. I think I see the future of gaming to be like where you just rent your games or you just rent your own stuff, which is, which is crazy, bro. I I don't like that. That sounds crazy. So that means when the world goes, 
uh, when the world hits the fan or something like that, you know, that means you don't really own anything. You don't have any physical media to play with. You know, if you're inside of a bunker, you don't even have anything to be entertained with because like you just have like you, you just you just bought your stuff from the digital store, you know, and that digital store is now gone because again, the world hit the fan. <laughs> <laughs> but like that's that's why I envision it. So right now I think I'm 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 gonna switch to Linux uh maybe in the future for now though I ain't because like, I am doing some I am the I am I am doing some other stuff that I need to be focused on and I don't really wanna I don't want my mind to be clogged and always thinking about oh dude I gotta switch to Linux I gotta switch to Linux bro uh, no nah, no nah, I gotta be practical I gotta do the stuff that I need to do but still you know the fundamentals the principles and the the ethics and it's it's appealing it's appealing because of how you really own your system you don't really own your system when you're on Windows you're, you're you have a you have like a, a terms you have a terms or condition that you you agreed to you have a TOS that you agreed to and especially with like uh, games as well you know, I like Steam, but like especially with video games. You know, it's it's sad. It's sad if people if like video game video video game, uh, creators and like a video what do you call it publishers or something like that don't even create like physical media copies anymore. Then that's gonna be a little bit of a little bit bit of a sad moment in in gaming because some people do actually like having physical copies that they can hold they can have in their hand well this is a phone so yeah you might think it's a wallet but this is a phone it's just a, it's just a casing so like yeah that that's really the uh, that's really the appeal of switching to linux too it's it's it, it it actually goes hand hand in hand or like goes well with uh with uh having to preserve things and having to like own things and having to like have 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 like a physical or like what do you call it control ultimate control with your operating system and it's really appealing for me you know but like some sometimes you really you really gotta you really gotta think and uh you really gotta ask yourself is this really worth doing and i'm at i'm at that moment where i think i need to ask myself is is, is moving to linux worth it well i think i, I don't even know because like I have other stuff to do and this is like my ultimate question to you guys do you do you guys think do you guys think that moving to GNU Linux is worth it or Linux is worth it for me it's a question it's a tough question because at the one, one side of my brain guys it's, it wants me to move on the other side it seems like it just wants to stay on Windows and do some other stuff but like yeah it's just a little bit it's a little bit of a moment for me right now and i don't i don't know if people are like this too like i think some people are like this they're like on the fence of moving to GNU linux and i get that because of the appeal the appeal of having to own your stuff the appeal of uh, a free and open source ecosystem and like a good eco a good competition okay because like right now most of the world is running on windows or windows <laughs> So like Linux is revolutionary to be honest, but and I might be I might be doing some other stuff like that too in the future. So this is like a channel update type of video. I, I I because like this is like out this is like a this is like this is like a video a video that's just like me talking about things and I hope you guys actually enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys subscribe.